Hey everyone, it's Tara. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video. This one is called the bullet train tag. It is based off a of movie. I believe it's on Netflix. I have not watched it yet, but after this tag, I really want to like try and watch it. It seems quite interesting. So anyways, I was tagged by Monty B. Um, she reads mostly like sci-fi and fantasy with romance. I really like her channel. You should check it out if you haven't already. And then um, the original creator, though, is Heather from Heather's Heroes and Heroines. She also has a great channel, so check her out as well. So each of the prompts is designed around like a different character in the movie. Number one is Ladybug, played by Brad Pitt, and it's a character who doesn't follow directions. Um, I chose Lillian from It Happened One Autumn by Lisa Kleypas. Um, This is the one in our... This is, I think, the second or third one. I cannot remember. It's the second one in the Wallflower series. And um, so Lillian is like an American heiress, and she is sent or she's living over in England to try and find a husband over there. And so she kind of doesn't fit into like their society standards. And so she doesn't really follow directions or follow rules or anything like that. So she kind of ends up being like a wallflower because of that. But I definitely feel like she fits this, um, this tag question. Number two is the wolf played by Bad Bunny, a character who avenges a loved one. And I chose um, Nicholas from Her Wicked Marquess by Stacey Reed. Um, that's a pretty big part of the plot. So I don't wanna give away too much, but he definitely fits this prompt. So number three is the wolf played by Joey King. And this is a character who wants to prove themselves. And so I chose Jasmine um, from Luke Off With Love by Mariana Zapata. And simply because I feel like she is trying to prove herself as like an ice skater. Um, and like, she's kind of like at this last chance where like she's getting older and she um, this might be like her last season to ice skate or to compete. And so I really think she wants to prove herself. So I feel like she fits that prompt. Number four is the handler. And that's played by Sandra Bullock, a character who helps another survive. I think the character that fits that is Antonia from The Family by Naomi Kropitsky. Um, I will say I'm not going to go in further detail because then it would be spoilers but she definitely fits this prompt. Number five is Tangerine and Lemon, um, played by Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry, and it's siblings. So apparently they're siblings, so the prompt is siblings. And I kinda, I, I don't know if I cheated on this one because I, I picked like a family of siblings. And the book I chose is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And it's about Nina, Jay, Hud, and Kit. And they are all siblings within this family. And it is, the book is um, just like about their relationship dynamics. So I felt like that fit. Number six is The Hornet. And this is played by Zazie Beetz. And this is a hired assassin no one expects. And so to be honest, I could not think of one for this one that I've actually read. Um, but I found one on my shelves that I haven't read that I feel like might fit this prompt. And it is Finley Donovan is Killing It by L. Cosimano. And I feel like, even though I haven't read it, I feel like based off what I know about the book, um, like the synopsis of it, it seems like it might fit that prompt. So I chose that one. This is the only book on the list that I haven't read just because I can find anything that I read that would fit this prompt. So apparently I need to read some more. Number seven is The Elder by Hiroyuki Sonata. And this is an unexpected hero. And so the one I chose for that one is Cecily from Bombshell by Sarah McLean. I feel like Cecily fits this prompt simply because um, she's part of like a group of women that help support other women during this time. And you wouldn't expect it because women of that time are considered to have like delicate constitutions. If you read historical romance, you know what I'm talking about. 
Number eight is the father, and that's played by Andrew Koji, a parent who will do anything to protect or find their child. Um, I chose The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. So Elsa fits this prompt simply because she does everything that she can for her children to like survive in um, the Great Depression slash Dust Bowl era. So this was a wonderful book. Definitely check it out if you have it. Number nine is The White Death, played by Michael Shannon, a character who won't die despite the odds. And I chose Will from Angelica Frankenstein Makes Her Match by Sally Thorne. And obviously this one is like a reimagining of Frankenstein and um, it's taking like obviously somebody who's no longer alive and making them become alive. So I felt like this one kind of fit that a little bit for that prompt um, because they won't. They don't die. They come back alive. I don't know. Maybe I'm cheating a little bit on that one. You tell me. Number 10. The Karen, played by Nancy Daly, an annoying character. And so one I um, chose for this one is Fixie from I Owe You One by Sophie Kinsella. And this one, I just think Fixie takes too much nonsense from like her siblings and like her childhood crush. Like, I feel like people constantly use her and like she keeps on letting that happen continually. And I'm like, oh my goodness, Fixie, just stop. Like, so it's annoying in that aspect. I did, however, think like the book overall was cute. So would, would suggest. Number 11 is The Passenger, played by Channing Tatum. And this is a character in disguise. The one I chose for that one is Chew. Volume One, um, Taster's Choice by John Lehman and Rob Gilroy. And I don't want to say too much because obviously this is a comic. And so it's, it's pretty short. And um, if I give you any more information, it could be like spoilery. So I don't want to. But I will say a character in this book um, fits this prompt. They are a character in disguise. This is a really good comic to read and I can't wait to continue on in this series. It was really good. As long as you have like a strong stomach to read it. So that was the bullet train tag. Um, let me know if you've read any of these books in the comments below, like, and subscribe if you would like to. And I tag anybody who would like to do this tag video, go right ahead. I would also like to tag Megan Nelson. Feel free to do this tag if you would like to. I'll just talk to you all later. Bye.